I actually was spent most of my life in a Mormon polygamous cult and uh, clear up until adulthood. We only left about nine, 10 years ago. And it was a cult based in, in small town, rural Utah. And it was a very fear driven cult, very apocalyptic. And so I had fear really ingrained in me, in me since I was a kid. And about 20 years old, a couple years after my wife and I had been married, we'd had our first child. That's when I really began to doubt it all. But in that darkness, uh, the Lord, in His amazing grace, He shined this light into the life of my wife and I. And that light came in the form of, of C.S. Lewis, of Dietrich Bonhoeffer, and Martin Luther. And it was really through the works and the lives of these three dead guys that the Lord showed us the gospel and really revealed to us a call in our life that um, we were to follow him. I didn't have an undergraduate degree before coming to Gordon Conwell. Um, the cult didn't allow us any type of outside education. So after eighth grade, I was totally self-taught, read everything I could get my hands on. And so when the time came where I felt the call to ministry and I began applying to seminaries, no one would really accept me because I didn't have that undergraduate piece. Gordon Conwell was kind of a pipe dream. And so I just applied anyways. They were clear across the country, but I, but I still felt the pull to. And instead of admissions getting back with me, it was actually the president of the seminary at the time, his wife, Dr. Marianne Hollinger, that reached out and asked if she could meet with me with her and her husband uh, for coffee. And so I met with them, we had a wonderful discussion, and they just kind of provided for me this path to come to Gordon-Conwell, go to their, their campus in Boston, uh, the CUME program there, and do a diploma in urban ministry program, which would then bypass the undergraduate and I could transfer those credit credits into the graduate program. So I did that for a year, came into the graduate program, uh, and here we are. And I think what really helped me in that to really choose firmly Gordon Conwell was that Gordon Conwell, they put high the authoritative, authoritative power of God's word. And from them, from that, they let you build your theology. They stayed true to the faithfulness of scripture, the infallibility, the inerrancy, all of those things. And yet from that, they, that you could build your theology and not kind of be conformed to a specific theological view. They weren't trying to put me in a box like I saw other sem some that's other seminaries doing. And I kind of felt like Jesse from Toy Story, don't put me back in the box because of my past and people telling me how to think and how to live. And so Gordon Conwell, while maintaining the faithfulness of scripture, allowed me to build my theology from that and from life experience to guide me in however that theology would look in my ministry.